At McGill, my undergrad students refer to me as doctor or professor Charmaine Nelson. I am a professor of art history in the Department of Art History and Communication Studies at McGill University in Montreal, where I became the first black professor of art history in a tenure or tenure track position at a Canadian university. Uh, art history is ubiquitous in Canada. It's taught at almost every university in Canada. So this shows you how few people of color and indigenous people are interested in pursuing art history as their discipline of study. I look at, historically, um, the representation of black females in Western art. So now when we go back as historians and try to figure out what was the experience of an enslaved person, we are sadly constantly looking at documents left to us by the people who owned them. So often then I'm decoding the ways that art was used to justify the enslavement of African people, um, which is something that a lot of scholars don't think about. I grew up in a wonderful um, family with two Jamaican-born parents who moved to Canada in 1969. And boy do they have stories, by the way, mm -hmm. of how horribly racist Canada was for them at the time. So I was in a very interesting household where education was a must. We were told, me and my sisters, I have two sisters, that we were going to university before we knew what university was. Uh, Montreal for me uh, was first on the radar for undergrad uh, study. Of course, Concordia, here I was, at a brilliant university that had a faculty of fine arts and that of course had uh, an English department. And I stumbled into art history as an elective and I was just astounded by this discipline where I could write all the time because that's you know what we make our students do in, in classes for assignments is write and write and write some more. <laughs> it's all these written assignments and you just get to look at and think about art all day and it was such a joy to me and it was my worst Mark. So I'm telling you right now, don't be discouraged by a bad grade. My body as a black woman was not absent in the lectures. The professors used to show us a lot of images of, let's say, for instance, genre studies, which are images of human activity, nudes, or portraits of black people. But they could not talk about why that white artist, usually a white artist, would have chosen that black subject and would have painted them in a specific way in a certain historical moment. My professors didn't have that knowledge. So then it showed me what I could become and that I could answer the questions, those same questions for Canadian art that had not yet been answered. If I'd run away then from a field that already wasn't clearly embracing people who looked like me, I could not be what I am today. But I had enough faith that my questions were valid and to pursue the study that it would take to make me the expert to answer those questions. So don't be afraid of the uncharted path. There is a push-pull dynamic for me in, in Montreal in terms of loving the space, but not feeling fully accepted in the space. It's such a vibrant city, and I am represented here in another kind of way because there's a large population of black Canadians, many of whom are Caribbean. So I feel more at home here as someone who grew up in a Jamaican household. But at the same time, there's a very specific type of racism to which blacks and black Anglophones are subjected to in Montreal, which uh, comes at us in a sense of first your body is seen as not being of here because of its blackness, and then you're always questioned on how much French you can speak. Being the only um, black professor of art history in 2001 and still today, that is horrible. This is not something that makes me happy. It was, I was proud when it happened in 2001, but we have to realize that now, 18 years later, where are the other black people? 